We're now going to import some more assets we will need to add entities to our map. We will need a prefab for each nation so that we can instantiate new citizen entities on our map. And we will also need the animation assets for each nation so that we can begin moving them around the map. We will quickly go over the process for creating one of the prefabs and the animations, and then we will import them from the repo to save time. Let's begin by making a prefab for one of the citizens from the guys. We'll go into the idle animations and choose one of them to represent the prefab in our scene. Let's drag the sprite into the scene to begin building the prefab. We'll start by resetting the transform for the sprite so that it sits at the origin. Let's hide the gizmos for now so that we can see the sprite better. We're going to set the sprite's sort point to pivot instead of center. This will ensure that our prefabs are sorted on the tile map based on their custom pivot point rather than the center of the sprite image. This will make the illusion of depth on the isometric tile map more realistic. We are also going to set the sprite's order in layer to 1, so that the prefab will have the same order as the structure layer of our map. This will ensure the prefabs are on the same layer as the walls on the map. They will be above the ground, but below the overlays. Now let's rename the sprite in our scene to Guys Prefab. Next, we'll create a new folder in our Resources folder called Prefabs, where we will store our prefabs. Then we want to drag our Guys Prefab into that folder in order to create the prefab asset. You can see the sprite object in our scene has turned blue, indicating it is now an instance of a prefab game object. We can delete the prefab from our scene. Now, let's open the prefab for editing, and then we'll add an animator component so that we are able to control its animation through a script. The animator component requires an animation controller component to manage its animations. Let's first create a new folder in our assets called animations, where we will store all of our controllers and animation clips. Then inside of this folder, create another folder called entities, then inside of Entities, create a folder called Citizen. Finally, inside of the Citizen folder, create a folder called Guides. It's not that important you get this structure right, because in a moment we're going to import all of these assets from the repo. Right now we're just going through how to create these assets if you want to make your own. Let's start by creating an animation controller for the guys. We'll name this asset Guys Animation Controller. Now you'll want to open both the animator window and the animation window from the window menu of the editor. You can dock them in the same panel as the scene. Now we can assign this animation controller to the animator component on our guy's prefab. Next, we can create our first animation clip by clicking the create button on the animation window. It will then ask us to create a name for our animation clip, Name the clip according to whatever series of images you chose for the prefab. In this case, we are going to call the animation guys-idle-sw. The SW stands for Southwest, and it represents the direction this animation faces on the map. Finally, to create the clip, we can drag the six sprites into the timeline of the animation clip, and then they will automatically be spread out over the timeline to create the animation. We will then drag the animation clip into the guy's animation folder where it belongs next to its animation controller. That completes the walkthrough of setting up the prefabs and the animations for each nation. If you want to include your own images and animations, you can follow this process for each of the nations to set up all of the required animations. But to save a lot of time, we are now going to import all of the prefabs and animations from the GitHub repo. So let's delete the assets we just created, and then we'll grab everything we need out of the repo. As a review, remember that if you use the GitHub package for Unity, it'll store all of your larger resources like images in the LFS or large file storage format. This means that if you try to simply download the zip file for the repo, you will only get pointers to these images. 
To get the images, we need to use git to clone the repo onto our machine. So let's grab the URL and then open a terminal to clone the repo. Once we have the repo, let's open it in our file explorer so we can copy all of the resources over to our Unity project. You can see that all of the animations and meta files are already present in the repo. It also includes the prefabs we need in the resources folder. Let's go back to our project and open the prefabs folder by choosing to show it in our file explorer. At this point, we can copy over everything that's inside the prefabs folder of the repo into our project. Now we can see we have all three prefabs available in our project, and they have all of the settings we need. They are currently missing the animation controllers, but we'll grab those next. Locate the citizen folder within the animations folder in the repo, and then open the same folder in your project. Then copy over everything into your project. Now we have all of the animation assets, and thanks to the meta files on the prefabs, we even have the animation controllers assigned correctly. That's everything we needed to import to get started building our entity system in the next video.